Hey everyone, here I am in Frostburg, Maryland, next to the National Highway Route 68, and I am at Noah's Ark, the, no the, the beginning stages of a rebuild of Noah's Ark, and here it is. We'll get a closer look at this. But anyway, I want to talk about these first, these three crosses. If you drive through the South uh, and West Virginia, really, um, you'll see these crosses. They're all over the place. Uh, they were uh, erected by a man named Bernard Coffendaffer. And he was from West Virginia, and he became a Christian, and his goal was to put up these crosses so he died in 1993 but anyway the crosses are all over um you know people property owners where the crosses are were erected take care of them churches adopt them and take care of them but anyway there's three right here which i found interesting and i've never actually seen three of these up close like this um but they're always the same. They'll be um, light blue and kind of this yellow color. I don't know if that has some significance in the Christian religion. Um, also, you don't really see it uh, when you're on the highway, but there's there's nails in there, crucifixion nails. In each one you can see right there, right there. And I don't see the other one. Anyway, maybe it fell out. Um, so anyway, let's get a look at this arc structure here. Now I gotta say that this, um, the, 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 this structure here was put up in 1999, but they've been trying to build this arc for 30 years. Um, but this has been here for a very long time. You can see here the foundation of the ark. And let's go down at the other end and have a look. Well, no. nothing. <laughs> anyway, uh, continuing on. so. Um, a little bit about this ark. Um, there was a pastor here named Richard Green. I don't know if he's still here or not, but in 1976, he began building this. So, um, they had a groundbreaking back in September of 1976 and poured the concrete, which was 3,000 tons of concrete. So that's a, it's a lot of of concrete. You'll see when we get up here a little bit further, but um it is built to biblical proportions, 450 feet long, uh 75 feet across and 45 feet high. Um or wait a minute, maybe it's 75 feet high. 75 feet high and 45 feet across. I think that's right. And here we have a... This is... This looks like... Um, a tumbleweave. A tumbleweave. We have those in the city. You'll see them blowing about in the streets like tumbleweeds do in the desert. <laughs> anyway... Uh, Pastor Green said that he had a three-part dream, um, and that's what inspired him to start building this ark. And it took the church 15 years to save up $200,000 to start this project. Um, the pastor was so determined to get this built that he traveled 
across the world with the blueprints hoping to raise the money to finish it but it never happened so I don't know what the current plans are with this I'm imagining that I imagine it's just gonna uh, sit here as it has for over 30 years but still interesting nonetheless when when I mean it's just like whenever somebody comes up with a kooky plan like this I will always be in their corner because this is awesome it's just such a shame they can't get it done because I would love to come and see this anyway you guys thanks for watching and uh, hopefully this arc will sail soon thanks a lot